Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Simon Mustafa. I am working as instructor of biology at Richard University of Pakistan. I will teach you this course, Genetic Resources and Conservation. In this course, we will learn about genetic resources, their types, their conservation techniques, and utilization of these resources. We will also discuss different types of national and international laws that apply to these genetic resources. This is an introductory lecture in which we will discuss about what are genetic resources, different forms of genetic resources, and different themes of genetic resources. Basically, Genetic resources are genetic material of actual or potential value or genetic material is an any material of plant, animal or other origin containing functional unit of heredity. Examples of such resources include material of plants, animal or microbial origin such as medicinal plants, agriculture crops and animal breed. So, we can say that genetic material of plants, animals or other microorganism is genetic resource. These resources also include all those animals, plants and microorganisms which are used for food, agriculture and forestry. Here we discuss a term that is agrobiodiversity. Agrobiodiversity is a subset of general biodiversity. The convention of biological diversity defines it as agrobiodiversity is a broad term that includes all components of biological diversity uh, relevant to food and agriculture and all components of biological diversity that constitute the agriculture ecosystem. We also call these agriculture uh, agrobiodiversity as agriculture biodiversity. The use of agrobiodiversity uh, is contribute to food security, nutrition security and livelihood security. Here are two main forms of genetic resources. The first one is wild species and the second one is domesticated form. Wild species. Wildlife or wild species include all plants, fungi and other organisms that grow or live wild in an area without being introduced by humans. They can be found in all ecosystem. Uh, if you are talking about wild animal, then uh, it includes tiger, lion, wolf, etc. Domesticated form. Domesticated form include all those animal that has been tamed and kept by human as a working animal, food source or pet. Especially a member of those species that have through selective breeding become notably different from their wild ancestors. Different types of fruit trees, uh, citrus fruits and the nut, nut trees are included in domesticated plants. There are two important themes with regards to genetic resource. The first, theme, the first theme is sharing of benefits arising from use of genetic resources by commercial organism and the second relate to food security. Assess and benefits sharing agreement. An assess and benefit sharing agreement is an agreement that defines the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from the use of genetic resources. If we use genetic resources, we use in resources. But we to follow a protocol for this. This means that we use protocol follow karna hai. Iska matlab ye hai ki in genetic resources to use karne ke liye ek protocol and we this protocol. Ko hum protocol bhi kehte hain the nagoya protocol focus on the equitable sharing of genetic material such as plant animal microbial or any other including the traditional knowledge associated with the genetic resources and the benefit that arises from their use is protocol ke do main component hai pehla component hai access to genetic resource ke hum kis tarah se in genetic resource ko tak access kar sakte hain so, this is the main thing. The first thing is that you genetic resource to be transparent. If you have a genetic resource, you can be transparent. You can be transparent. You can be transparent. You can be transparent. The second thing is that you can be legal. The 
सेकेंड कंपोनेंट इज शेयरिंग ऑफ बेनिफिट्स शेयरिंग ऑफ बेनिफिट्स ये है कि आपको इससे जो आपको इन रिसोर्स से जो बेनिफिट्स मिलेंगे आपने उन बेनिफिट्स को दूसरों से शेयर करना है अब ये शेयरिंग दो तरीकों से होती है एक तो है मॉनिटरी एंड द सेकेंड वन इज नॉन मॉनिटरी मॉनिटरी में ये है कि इसमें आपको रियलिटीज देनी पड़ती हैं और नॉन मॉनिटरी ये है कि इसमें आपको रिजल्ट शेयर करने पड़ते हैं मतलब अगर आपने इन जेनेटिक रिसोर्स पे इन जेनेटिक रिसोर्स की मदद से अगर आप कोई रिसर्च कर रहे हैं तो आप या कोई स्टडी कर रहे हैं तो आपने उनसे उससे जो रिजल्ट हासिल करेंगे आपने वो रिजल्ट शेयर करने हैं सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जेनेटिक रिसोर्स इट्स थीम एंड डिफरेंट फॉर्म ऑफ जेनेटिक रिसोर्स